do you believe that everybody is talking over and, and making it appear as if it's ISIS because the ramifications of um, finding out that it was America and Britain would, would force Russia's hand to actually attack them? I know that, and before you answer that, I know I was when I was doing my live last night, I got some information before that, and I was telling the people that Russia struck some decision-making centers. I know everybody was talking about they struck these um, the um, power plants, but the information that was being fed to me was that they hit NATO bases in Ukraine and they took out a high officials. And today we get it that a um, a Polish general uh, was killed in um, in a bunker, and NATO is saying that he died in the war zone um, from natural causes. So. so so um i mean well they're not lying because if, if he's a general and he's at war and gets killed in war that is natural causes for him but <laughs> he died of natural causes when the building collapsed on him. <laughs> <laughs> so what I mean, do you think do you think they're trying to mask it because of the ramifications because this could mean that russia would have to strike the perpetrators which which are nation states yeah, I mean, like, uh, you t look at what Ukraine did right after the, the attack. You know, first of all, it's a gloating, and then they're trying to blame it on a Russian, a false flag, uh, a Russian false flag. Because this is the same thing that happened during the Chechen war for people who have, like, longer memory spans. Uh, there was, during the Chechen war in the early 2000s, there was the, the Moscow, another Moscow concert hall attack carried out by the Chechen separatists at the time when Washington and NATO were fully backing the Chechen separatists in Chechnya. And, 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 but, but guess what? The, the concert hall attack did not stop the Russian victory in Chechnya. And, and similarly, it won't stop the Russian victory in Ukraine. But what did the Ukraine do right after the attack? They launched a, a barrage of missile attack against Crimea. And, you know, the, 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 you know, I, I don't even believe there's there's still like Ukraine had that kind of missile capability at this point. There's very likely that those those missiles and as well as the target intelligence were provided by the West, by by U.S. and the NATO alliance. And, and it seems very much to me a coordinated attack. They, they chose this 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 opportune time right when Russia is you know, gripped by this tragedy in Moscow. And they decided to, for this opportunity to launch attack. And, and we know that special forces are embedded in, in the war zone in the, among the Ukrainian forces. We know uh, for, for a while, you know, Elon Musk Starlink was providing the logistics for communication for, for Ukraine. And, you know, you, and, 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 you know all these um, uh, U.S. military, NATO intelligence they're all there. They're all in, 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 the, in the forefront, either observing or uh, actively assisting. You know, they, they already trained the Ukrainian military. The, the Ukrainian military was NATO trained. Let's not forget that. So, so this is uh, th this at the same time with Macron. Macron claimed that he was sent French troops. He said that the, the France is going to fully back Ukraine. This guy is crazy. I mean, when was the last, when was the last time France fought a war with Russia? Napoleon, Napoleon marched to Moscow. What happened to that? What happened to Napoleon's grand army? That was the end of Napoleon. That was the end of France as a great power. And and, and it, I don't know what Macron is thinking anymore because because like uh, you know, France today is it's uh you know he when he says european should not be vassal to the united states he get criticized in europe i mean this is a kind of the the, the environment we're in right now this is a but i honestly no matter what kind of noise they make it doesn't change the fundamental facts on the ground europe us they don't have the industrial capacity to prosecute the war in ukraine you, you, like now Israel is complaining that U.S. is not supplying enough 155 millimeter shells to Israel. I mean, like that because they, they, they just this all happened because, you know, the U.S. military intelligence complex decided, you know what? There's no profit in making artillery shells. We make more money 
by getting this boondago project like f-35 you know where there's much more grip for F all the grease all around so they they intentionally phase out the artillery production and now they can't ca catch up to the russian production and the north korean production of the mm -hmm. artillery shells and, and let's face it in a land war artillery is still king except they upgraded now now the artillery have linked up with drones so they can do precision strikes everywhere in the battlefield this is where um whatever the, the terrorist attack um it, it, it's not going to change the, the the equation you know the, the, the it's not going to change the power balance the russians are still going to demolish the ukrainian air forces in ukraine and and there's not much the west could do about it so they're kind of desperate they're desperate for a win um and and you know i so far you know russia has been quite rational on concentrating just on ukraine not getting direct confrontation with the west because they are doing a methodical they're carrying out a methodical grounding down of the resources that nato is pouring into ukraine so this is the exact opposite of what John McCain and uh, Lindsey Graham had wanted to happen because Lindsey Graham said, this is great because it's a Ukrainian that's fighting the Russians. They're doing the fighting for us, you know, because they're proxies. And, 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 and it's, it's better that we fight Russia in Ukraine than we have to fight them head on. But, but, but Ukrainian manpower is being depleted. U Ukrainian battlefront is collapsing. And there's nothing they could do. And, and it, you know, everybody know that U.S. actually do not want to be directly involved. Uh, you know, when was the last time U.S. actually won the war? You know, like, <laughs> like <laughs> people, people keep on putting out all these U.S. military propaganda like this. We're the greatest force on Earth. Well, you're not even winning against Yemen. <laughs> what are we kidding here? You think you can take on Russia and China? That's a joke. <laughs> 